But what we want to talk about today is syncing our Google Drive account with a local folder on our desktop. So if you look at the bottom left corner of your Google Drive account, you should have a download Google Drive link. If you don't have that, you can just search Google for download Google Drive and you'll find it. But once you find that link, go ahead and download it. So I'm going to click on Google Drive for Mac. If you're on Windows, again, this is almost the same. Even this box looks pretty much the same. And I'm just going to hit Agree and Download. Now you'll have to install this file like you would a normal program. Uh, so it's going to be a .dmg file on Mac, probably a, it is a .exe file on a Windows. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this download finish. While that's happening, I want to mention that one of the cool things about using Google Drive with a local folder is that you can edit your documents while you're offline. You don't have to be connected to the internet. So if you've got a laptop, you might be on a plane that doesn't have internet access. You could have Google Drive, have all your stuff synced, edit some documents while you're on the plane in Word or, or text editor or whatever program you use and then when you get back to an internet connection those files will sync with your files online in your Google Drive account. So once you've got it downloaded go ahead and install the application. I'm just going to click to open the install Google Drive.dmg file. I'm going to have to drag it to the applications folder I believe here. Unless it has its own little wizard. don't remember. This exactly. So we're going to drag this to the Applications folder. And uh, when you first set this up, there's going to be some initial configuration. You're going to have to enter your Google account and that kind of stuff. And you're going to have to show Google Drive which folders in your Google Drive account you'd like to sync. But after you do that, it'll be pretty much automatic. So now I'm just going to go into my Applications folder, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Google Drive. So here it is. On Windows, it would be the same thing. You go to your Start menu, My Programs, open up Google Drive. We'll take a second to open up here for the first time. Go ahead. Needs my permission. That's cool. I'll enter my admin password. Okay, so like I said, the first time that you open up Google Drive, you need to log in. So I'm using my test account, which is AntonAlexander88 at gmail.com. I'll enter my password, and we'll go ahead and sign in close this applications. And you're going to go through a little bit of a wizard here. It's going to tell you how things work. You don't have to send crash reports if you don't want to. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. Um, you'll notice that at this screen right here, the second screen, by default it's going to sync all of your files with Google Drive and your local folder, which you might want. But you could also hit this advanced setup button and you could choose which folders in your Google Drive account that you actually want to sync to your local computer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let them all sync. Uh, but you could say, I only want test collection to sync instead of all of them. You can also change the location of your folder. So, and this is something that you definitely want to do at the beginning before you get it all set up. So let's say I want this on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit change. I'll just click on desktop. This could be, it would be the same in Windows. It's going to look a little bit different. And then I'll just hit open and you'll see now it's going to put it to my desktop. The Google Drive folder is going to be on my desktop. So I can just easily drag things in right from there. You can decide whether you want to start Google Drive automatically. That's up to you. And obviously, you probably want to have this checked. That's the whole point of watching this tutorial is to be able to sync Google Docs files. Uh, but you could uncheck that so that you just have some local versions of your files and you don't want them to, to make the changes online. I, you know, I don't see too much of a reason to uncheck that, but that's up to you. And the proxy, you can just leave that as is unless you specifically know that you need to change this. You don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and hit Start Sync. Again, cancel my software update. It's going to take a little while the first time when you're syncing. You'll notice that a Google Drive folder now just appeared on my desktop. And you'll see that I'm starting to get some files into this folder. So you can see the folders I have online are also in this Google Drive folder on my desktop. And I've also got my Word docs and some Excel. Actually, these are Google Spreadsheet and Google Doc documents. Um, so if I wanted to add a document to my Google Drive and I actually don't have one so let me just go ahead and and uh, open up I'll just open up text edit real quick and I'll just create a new file just to show you that it works that's cool I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save that and I'm actually I'm gonna save it directly to my Google Drive folder and we'll just call this Google Drive test and we'll go ahead and we'll save it. Close it out. You can see now it's in my Google Drive folder. Depending on if my files are have already 
sunk or sank, I don't know the correct way to say that, this file should show up in my Google Docs account within the next two or three minutes here. Hopefully it will show up at, boom, as I'm speaking about it. There it is, Google Drive test. It's a rich text file, um, so you know, I could open it up and view it. Remember, in Google Drive, you can put in, and I actually can't view uh, rich text files in Google Drive. What I was gonna say is in Google Drive, you can add any type of file you want. You can add images, PDFs, Word docs, whatever. In order to edit them, you need to convert them for editing. So if you just draw, drag in a rich text file or a Word file or an Excel file, before you can actually edit it online, you need to right click and hit on the export to Google Docs link. That's gonna go ahead and it's gonna convert the file. You can see that, if you look at my thing, by the symbol here, it's now a Google Docs Word file. I have a, I still have the old version, but I can now edit this file because I converted it to Google Docs. So don't forget to do that. And now if we take a quick glance at my folder here, whenever this syncs again, and it should be syncing, you know, uh, pretty, pretty quickly, uh, I should have another Google Drive test file that will will show up in here. We might even have to refresh the view. I'm not sure. Um, but it, it will show up here as you saw it, it showed up in my Google Docs folder before. Um, so this is a great way to have all your files offline. You know, I could be disconnected from the internet now and obviously these Google Doc files, I would have trouble editing, but if I had some Word files in here, I would be able to edit them right away. Um, so it's definitely something that you might wanna look into, almost the same on Windows as it is Mac. I definitely recommend it, especially for those of you who are going to be working offline. If you want to know more about actually composing files in Google Docs, spreadsheets, Word files, sharing files, organizing your files within the web interface, go ahead and watch some of my other Google Docs tutorials. I've got a bunch of them out there. And as I mentioned earlier in this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a Google Docs tutorial 2013, probably in January or February of this year. I tend to do it on a yearly basis, and there have been significant changes since my 2012 version. So that is definitely going to be coming up. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to see more technology tips, tutorials, Google Docs stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.